as I started this infinite journey of self-development, I realized I had to be honest with myself. Yeah, I realized I had to be honest with myself. And looking into that, I realized how much I lied to myself. I realized how many lies I told myself in order to get by through the day, through the years, you know, through my life. And one really thing that really got me was how unstable my um, childhood was, how unstable um, my maturation phase was growing up. I realized that, man, there was so much going on as a child. I had to I had to create certain um, certain things to keep me afloat, certain things to wow certain things to fulfill me to fill the voids you understand that as a child so when i realized that and being honest with myself i saw wow i really damaged myself and the environment i was in damaged me even more do you understand that i realized that when i'm looking for love no i just want love from you know my mother and father but i'll look in other directions other ways other areas that's around me and try to cope with that yeah, I had unhealthy coping mechanisms in my life within me. And as a child, I developed these things. And when I got older as an adult, I saw how strong they were on me. I saw how bad they had an effect on me. I saw how negative um, they created a world in my life that I could not shake. I could not, I, mean, I couldn't get away from. And I thought that was the right thing. Do you hear me? Like, what was wrong with me? And I had to be honest with myself. I didn't know what was going on. And that really struck me when I started self-developing, when I started looking within. And that really bothered me. Why couldn't I just be with one woman? Why couldn't I? Why couldn't I even trust a woman? Is it because, you know, growing up, I had to hold a, hold down the household, but I really didn't get that love from my mother that I needed because we were surviving. We were just trying to make it day to day. And with that, be, and with that survival um method being in place we had battles me and my mother had battles had fights you know arguments and stuff so i couldn't really trust her because i felt like she kept putting me in in bad predicaments that i had to get my own self out of so why 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 am i like this and why am i still like this these are questions i asked myself when i started this process and i'm still in the process of self-development you understand that so being honest with myself really put a magnifying glass on who i am who I was and even who I want to be with being honest with myself I realized that the ways I coped with the voids with <laughs> with the um the missing pieces I needed growing up when I saw how detrimental those coping mechanisms were to me I said how do I shake not shake this off how do I get this off how do I stop why am I so obsessed with every listen why am I so obsessed with the negative in my life why do I think that makes me stronger and better? You know what it was strengthening? It wasn't strengthening me. Uh -uh. I was weak. I was frail. I was fatigued. It was strengthening my ego. Man, my ego was what, listen, my ego was what was created when I was in such a deficit as a child. I created ego. I didn't create myself. I didn't establish myself. I didn't build myself. I created my ego. Oh man, we talking. I created my ego. Do you understand? And so with me going throughout the, my journey in life, thinking I'm strong, I'm big and bad. It was my ego, my personality, my being, my my life, my soul. I was weak. I was weak, man. I was weak. I was brutal. I was fragile. I was insecure. I was scared. I was anxious. But my ego, my ego, <laughs> my ego told me something else because I was feeding it and not feeding me. I was malnourished, but my ego was so strong. My ego became me, so I thought. My ego ran my life. And with it running my life, it was hurting me. It was hurting my body, my physical, my spiritual, my mental health. It was putting a damage on, a toll on my life. Do you understand that? Do you understand that? It was damaging me. I couldn't get out of this thing. I thought it was me. It was my ego. Why was my ego created at that time? Because I had certain deficit certain voids missing pieces in my life i got in i had certain pains that was inflicted on me during my childhood like do you understand that and with that being said i had to create something to make me feel safe make me feel powerful make me feel invincible and i thought that was me no 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 it was my ego so with this being said with me being honest with myself i realized all these things i realized all these things and that hurt me 
yeah that that hurt me realizing that oh i thought i was i thought i was good i thought i was strong i thought i was in good condition i thought i was in shape i work out you know i do this no 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 no, no. i'm in bad shape i'm in bad conditioning i need to go in training i need to train myself because i wasn't training me when i was growing up i wasn't training me as a young adult no 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 no. my ego was in control my ego was the command and chief my ego ruled me do you understand that so with all that being said, I understand you may feel like you're powerful. I may understand you. You may feel like, you know, you're in a good place, but you're still having this feeling of it's, something's wrong. I need you to dig deep this week. I need listen. When you start this week, I need you to really look at yourself, do some inventory, put the magnific magnifying glass on yourself and be honest of are, are you in your ego or are you in you? Are you operating out of your ego or are you operating out of you? You know, your pure place, your your sacred place, the place that's really genuine that people can see and feel like, oh, my gosh, this is a good person. Or are you operating out of your ego where you trying to do everything just to just to one up somebody, just to gain an advantage over somebody where you only fit where <laughs> in every relationship and every predicament, only you get the gain and other people lose. Do you understand that? You need to really realize some things about yourself and look into yourself this week because in order for you to have a better life, you got to be better. In order for you to really have the life you want, you got to listen. You got to see what's going on in that mind of yours. You got to go in that closet and clean it out because there's a lot of skeletons. I'm still I'm still working on myself. I'm still having challenges and battles, but I'm being honest with myself. And yes, it's challenging. It's hurtful. But guess what? You know what to do once you once you realize the problem, once you realize that you are the problem, once you realize that you have problems, it is OK. You don't have to be perfect. But guess what? You need to realize that, oh, I got problems. I need to work on myself. What can I do? Oh, I see what I need to do now. I'm about to do this. You need to take action because guess what? Time waits for no man. Time waits for no man. So don't waste your time doing the same thing over and over again, thinking you're going to get the different, going to get a, the same results or different results. You cannot do that. I need you to take time out and put the time into yourself. Realize what, realize what you need to work on. Realize your battles. Realize your weaknesses. Realize your your vices what what it, why are you addicted to what what toxic things are you addicted to like what are you really um, weak to what type of people are you do you give into do you understand that what things do you give into you need to really be honest with yourself this week because if you really want to get to the next level if you want to get to the next year on a new mindset you have to do this first listen it's december we got to get listen we got to get everything right because the new year is coming and we, we don't want to make a new year resolution no we need to make a new life resolution i want to have a new life i don't want to have a new year no 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 i need to make sure this lifestyle i have is better for me better for those attached to me better for those that's going to connect to that are going to connect to me i need to make sure this because i need to be, i need better in my life i struggle too long some of y'all are saying all these things but don't know what to do listen the answer is in you and you gotta look inside of you and see what's going on once you do that listen life becomes better solutions become uh, your best friend everything listen everything re rewards you once you tap into you you are the treasure you are the missing piece you are the missing link people need you in order for people to go to you you first got to find you so this week, man, this week, your homework is just to work on yourself, just to be honest with yourself. When you be honest with yourself, then you'll realize the problems and the solutions. Listen, you cannot dwell on the problems because you already know the problems. But once you identify the problems, the solutions are going to be there. Yeah, the solutions are going to be there. The solution, <laughs> the solutions are just the, <laughs> the inverse of a problem the opposite of a problem that's the solution like it's not really that hard don't think too hard don't put so much stress on yourself listen look in yourself find the problem and the inverse of that is the solution i'll give you an example if you keep if you think you have a weight problem keep gaining weight what's the solution i may need to eat more healthy foods and probably eat less calories that's simple right so take i need you to address and um approach yourself the same way if you're having problems the inverse is the solution that's it now some of it may be deeper some of it may have to do with your parents may have to do with your grandparents may have to do with your family members may have to do with your community your environment that's okay but you need to really recognize you and take accountability take accountability for yourself because you will you will become more successful in this process in this assessment so listen be honest with yourself this week i'll see y'all next week thank you for tuning in to money morale peace